this is Joe from Mass Tutor Me. Today we're doing whole numbers and we're doing subtraction. And all of our questions today will be done without a calculator. So in question one, in the examples here, it says use mental strategies to find 40 take away 23. So what we can do is we can break the number that we're taking down. I'm going to break it into two numbers. So I'm going to start with 40. I'm going to take away the 20, because that's easy to do, and then I'll take away the 3. So take away 20, take away 3, that's really taking away 23. If I take 20 away, I take that off the 10s. So 40 take away 20 is 20. And I still have to take away my other 3. 20 take away 3 is, counting back 3, you get 17. Let's try that again for B, 54 minus 31. So I'm going to change that to be 54 minus 30 minus 1. So I can take the 30, which is three lots of three tens off the 50, counting backwards by 10, you get 44, 34, 24. So that would become 24, and I still have to take off my 1. So 24 take away 1 is 23. Let's try again for C. 62. I want to take away 20, and then I want to take away 8. Well, the 20 part we can do, so let's count back two tens. So that will be 52, 42. So that's 42. And I want to subtract 8. Now, 8's not, that's not something that you can easily take off the 2. What you can do, if you like, is say, I'll take the 2 off first. And that will be, there's another 6 in here. Because those together make 8. So the 2 will take me down to 40, and then I just need to go 6 below that, and knowing your 10 facts, that we know that that will give us 34. Okay, now we come to question 2, which is to do our columns using our column subtraction, again, with still without a calculator. So we want to do 73, subtract 27. We start with the ones column and we want to do three, take away seven. Now you can't do that, okay? We can't take away seven from three. So what we need to do is borrow some more from our tens column. So I'm gonna borrow one from here, changing this to a six. And I'm going to put that one that I borrowed as a 10. It's going to come over here to make 13. 13 take away 7 can be done and gives us an answer of 6. Now to the tens column, 6 take away 2 is 4. So 46 is the answer. For B, much bigger numbers this time, but the process is still the same. Start all the way down here with the ones. 8 minus 2 is 6. 1 minus 7, we can't do, so we're going to borrow from above. We're going to say this is going to change to a 4 to make this 11. 11 minus 7, we get a 4. 4 minus 4 is 0. 7 minus 8, can't do, we're taking away too big a number, so we'll borrow from here again to make a 1. 17 take away 8 is 9. And one take away one is zero. So our answer is 9,046. 9, okay, for question three, we want to calculate by working from left to right. And we have a mixture here of addition and subtraction in both of these questions. So we have to start from left. We want to do these ones first and then that one. So these two. So 24 plus 15. To add those together, we can add the tens together to get 30 and add the ones together to get a 9. Okay, we still have to take away our 8 though. Now 8 easily gets subtracted from 9 and would have a 1 left. 
So my answer is 31. Okay, for B, we have 21 take away 7 plus 13. So I have to do these ones first, 21 take away 7. So let's, this time, let's count backwards by 7. So that would be starting at 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14. Just counting back 7. And now I have to add on my 13. Let's add these together now. Adding the 10s together, we get 20. Adding the 1s together, 4 plus 3 is 7. All right, that's what we're learning today. Time for you to practice. Here's some more questions, just like the ones we've been learning. So pause the video and give these ones a go. Restart to see the answers. For question one, calculate mentally. 78 take away 43. Well, we can start with the 78. We can take away the 40 and then we can take away the 3. So taking away the 40, so that's from... Counting backwards from the 70 here, so 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 8, and then we can take the 3 off the 1s, so that 3 backwards from here will make 35. Some of you might find you can do that straight here from the beginning, so 7 minus 4 is 3, 8 minus 3 is 5. And B... A little bit trickier because we can't just do this quickly. We have a bigger five here that we have to do from there. So let's take 52, take away the 30, take away the five. If we take away 30 from here, that's going to take us to 22. And take away another five, account backwards five from here. So 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17. that's the answer. Our column subtraction, 7 minus 1 is 6, 4 minus 9 we can't do, so we're going to borrow, put a 2 here, making this 14 minus 9, which is 5. 2 minus 5 we can't do, so we borrow from here, change that to a 5, and this will become a 12. 12 minus 5 is 7, and 5 minus 2 is 3. And last question, calculate by working from left to right. 32 plus 19 minus 5. So starting with these two numbers, adding together. If I add the 10 on, I would get 42. And I still have the 9 and the 5. If I add the 9 onto here, well, let's see. We could take 8 of them. Eight of those numbers there would make this up to 50, meaning that we would have one more left, making it 51. I still have to take away five though. So I could take the one off and I'd have four more to go backwards, making 46. All right, that's it for our lesson today. I'll see you next time. Bye.